There is no doubt that the platform economy is here to stay. Actually, the platform economy is going to boom. So the first is not as much with the platform economy, but with the firms that are not into the platform economy at the moment. They really um, know that they have to act, they need to do something, but I see a lot of confusion about what it needs to be done. Many of the firms, they're just going the shortcut and say, we need to build a platform. That's the, actually not the answer. The answer the, starts from really reframing the question, and the question is, why are we in business? The second challenge is about the platform economy per se, what it is. At the moment, markets are just conceptualized at the product level. We look at the product, we identify a specific market, we regulate that market, we understand what are the firms that operate in that market. That's not the platform economy. The platform economy runs across different markets, runs across different sectors. There are myriads of firms that act into um, multiple, actually, platforms. And the third challenge is for us citizens. How are we interacting with the platforms? This is going to affect the way we behave, the way we perceive value in society, and the way we pursue also value in society. Platforms are, are also good forces for social change. So platforms can also be used to mobilize um, you know, new movements, new forces, new energies, new ideas. But to promote the benefits of the platform, uh, the platforms can bring while limiting the risk, we really need to understand something that at the moment we don't understand particularly well. How data are collected, how data are managed, and how information is basically um, managed and transformed by the platforms back into the economy. Obviously, there is something that is visible at the moment, which is the banking sector. Another um, sector where I see um, many opportunities um, for disruption is the electric vehicle uh, market, but not as much on the car aspect, but had on the service that might run through and via the car. So the car might become actually the new physical platform moving around, powering all kinds of service that connects to um, uh, the service that we already have, restaurants, parking, gyms, and you name it. Um, but there is one sector that is actually the biggest opportunity for platforms and for society, and that's actually the public sector. So if you look at the public sector, the way it has been you know, um, managed in the past, we have all these cooperations with public and private sectors, where the public sets some goals, then it goes to some firms, eventually select a few to run the service, right? This is very inefficient. Now, imagine the public sector as layers, different infrastructures, let's call them platforms, that open up to any kind of firms out there and let them use the data, the public data that we have, as a way for the firms to devise and envision new service and new products for us citizens, right? In competition maybe with the one provided by the public sector. Now you have a broader variety of service, possible of a higher quality, possible more customized to the needs of heterogeneous users, and you might have also lower cost of running you know, the public service. There is no doubt that the platform economy is here to stay. Actually, the platform economy is going to boom in the next years. The question is rather on to what extent is going to redefine the existing economy and you know some of the, some of the sectors in Melbourne they will stay the way they are with I would say you know a platform approach which means that we'll see less degree of transformations but nonetheless we will see a transformation towards you know a platform model.